This is another unpaid testimonial. Um, again, I don't endorse anything for money. I endorse it because it's the best in its category. And this has found, to me, th these are the best warmers, air activated warmers in their category. And it's Grabber. And basically these work off air. As soon as you open these packages and let air in, uh, they start getting warm. Now toe warmers are kind of interesting and a lot of people don't uh, actually understand it. Toe warmers are actually designed for boots like leather and cordura or you know work boots and stuff like that. And they have adhesive on one side so when you peel it off you, you basically stick them on the top of your sock not on the bottom because then you're compressing them and you're not allowing them to get any air. You want the little pocket above your toes for air. But when you put a toe warmer in a rubber boot, rubber boots do not breathe, nor do neoprene boots, muck boots do not breathe. So basically the only air they're getting is what's coming through the throat of the boot at the top. So toe warmers and foot sole warmers don't work that well in non-breathable boots, but they do if you don't wear a heavy sock. And the way these, all these warmers work, is you can't see it, but there's holes poked in this fabric here. Now a toe warmer has bigger holes because they're supposed, they work on smaller amounts of air. You take a hand warmer, and this is a seven hour hand warmer, these are supposed to get a lot of air. So these have the, the actual holes in these warmers are very, very tiny. So these are worn in gloves or in a hand warmer muff, something like that. So these are supposed to get a lot of air. This is the biggest sleeper item in the country for hunting in cold weather. And it's this peel and stick body warmer. This was designed for the medical field. It was designed for patients with arthritis and joints and stuff. Again, it's got adhesive on one side. You peel this off and basically you never put them on before you're going hunting, you know, like at your vehicle. But once you get on stand, let's say it's five degrees, 10 degrees, once you're on stand and your body cools down from your entry walk, you unzip your front and on your bottom layer, not on your skin, but the bottom layer against your skin, you'll peel this adhesive off. And depending on how cold it is, if it's not really, really cold, you're chilled, just put one on your sternum. This keeps your whole core warm. These do not get over 145 degrees. They're very controlled temperature. They will not burn you. Put one on your core. If it's really cold, put one on each kidney. If it's really, really, really cold and you don't, you're not dressing properly, put one on each kidney and put one on your chest. I have worn as many as five of these. And another cool thing about warmers that a lot of people don't realize is this is a 12 hour warmer. So once you get done hunting, let's say you hunt four hours and you only use this four hours, you can take a Ziploc freezer bag, slide this in it, seal it shut, you know, kind of flush the air out of it, peel, seal it shut and you can get two to three uses out of this because as soon as you shut off the air supply it quits working as soon as you open that ziploc baggie up take it back off put it back on it'll start working again so even though it's a buck 20 buck 30 uh, you can get at least two hunts out of one of those unless you're on an all-day set in a mega warmer uh, this is basically just a large glorified hand warmer and that's a 12-hour warmer so hand warmers are seven hours a mega warmer is 12 hours how tough you are has nothing to do with how long you can sit in cold weather. It's how well you dress and prepare for the occasion. Public and pressured land deer hunter with John Eberhardt has been brought to you by OnX Hunt, where the pavement ends, OnX begins.